So, uh, Emma, is this book written by Jane Austen? And it's about this girl named Emma Woodhouse. And you'll think it's a romance novel, but, um... Actually, we're gonna have to get back to you on that. We don't really know. There's, like, also a lot of self-discovery in there. Um, but anyway, Emma's family is, like, really rich, and she's gonna inherit all this money, and she's pretty used to having things go her way, and she's, like, never had to deal with a problem before in her life. Until this one day, her best friend and former governess, Miss Taylor's like, I'm getting married. And Emma's like, no, don't leave me. Emma's dad, Mr. Woodhouse, he also hates change. He's like really worried that people are gonna get sick, so he keeps trying to tell them what to do and what to eat. And he doesn't really like going anywhere or doing anything except visiting the Bateses, which Emma doesn't like because they're really annoying. But Emma has to take care of him because her sister got married, so I guess that's kind of a problem. But Emma's favorite hobby is matchmaking, so she, like, tries to take credit for Miss Taylor's wedding, although now she's Mrs. Weston, because that's not confusing. And then her brother-in-law and neighbor, Mr. Knightley, is like, no, Emma, you didn't do that. And so then they kind of fight about it. And then Emma decides she's gonna get a new friend, Harriet Smith, and she's like, girl, I'm gonna hook you up. And that totally sounds like a romance to me. And so then one day this farmer, Robert Martin, writes Harriet and proposes, and Emma's like, no, don't marry him, you could do better. And Harriet's like, oh, you're right. So she turns him down, and then Mr. Knightley tells Emma that was wrong. So they fight for like another 10 pages, depending on your edition of the book. And then Emma introduces Harriet to this dude, Mr. Elton, and she's like, you should totally marry him. And Harriet's like, okay, sure. And then we start hearing rumors about this guy, Frank Churchill, who may or may not show up. But Emma's too busy with Harriet for that right now. Then one night after this party, Mr. Elton is drunk and he proposes to Emma. And Emma's like, no, I don't want to get married. So I guess that's kind of a problem. And then Mr. Elton marries Mrs. Elton, who's just really ridiculous. And she's got opinions about like everything, even stuff she doesn't know about. And no one really likes her because she's really vulgar and tries to be all familiar with people. But breaking news, guess who just showed up in town? Frank freaking Churchill. And he decides that he's gonna flirt with Emma. And Emma's just kind of like, okay, I mean, sure. I don't really want to get married, but all oh, right, do I? See, that totally sounds like self-discovery now. And then this other character, Jane Fairfax, shows up. And everyone thinks she's really awesome, except for Emma. She's Miss Bates' niece. And she has to be a governess because she doesn't have any money, which kind of sucks. And then one day she gets this piano forte and no one knows where it came from. Emma just assumes it's from this dude, Mr. Dixon. So she and Frank just laugh about that. Mrs. Elton's probably got an opinion on that, but you don't need to hear that. Save yourselves. Anyway, back to Harriet. She comes over to Emma's house and she's over Mr. Elton. And she decides that she's going to burn the prized possessions she has from him which turns out are an unused band-aid and a broken pencil. And Emma's just like, well, I mean, Harriet, we could use that band-aid still. And she's like, no, it hurts too much. Jeez, Emma, for someone so rich, you're sure being a cheapskate right now. So they burn the pencil and the band-aid and Harriet decides she wants to find her own man. So she picks Mr. Knightley and Emma's just like, WTF, no, I want Mr. Knightley. Okay, like, that sounds like a romance and self-discovery. I don't even know what to do. But anyway, it turns out Mr. Knightley is kind of mad at Emma because she made fun of Miss Bates for being annoying, which is kind of sad because she knows she's annoying and she doesn't want to be annoying. So Mr. Knightley kind of yells at Emma and then she gets really sad and cries and then everybody else gets really mad, especially Jane, which is really weird because she wasn't even involved. But it turns out Jane and Frank are engaged and no one knew about it. And Jane's really mad at Emma for flirting with Frank. So Emma's just like, oh crap, my bad. And then like a few days later or some, I don't know, 
Mr. Knightley's talking to Emma about how he wants to get engaged to someone and Emma thinks he means Harriet and she's like, this hurts so much. Where is that band-aid when I need it, Harriet? But it turns out he was talking about Emma and she's like, okay, I changed my mind. I want to get married now. And then Harriet's like, oh, forget Mr. Knightley. I'm just going to go marry Robert Martin. So she does that and we've come full circle and this whole thing could have been avoided if she'd just done that in the first place. And then Jane and Frank get married and then Emma marries Mr. Knightley and they live happily ever after and Emma's only had to deal with like five problems in her whole life and Mrs. Elton probably has an opinion about that too but we're not going to get into that now so that's basically the end.